right, you got a special delivery today from the Transformers trading card game. Uh, it's the San Diego Comic-Con packs. We got the Omnibots pack. We got the uh, the Retro Toy Blaster and Soundwave pack. Now, this one will be available uh, at retail, but without the retro box art on it. It'll, it'll have more traditional uh, Transformers trading card game art on the cards. But uh, but if you, if, you, if you want this retro 80s looking uh, with the box art, set it is a comic-con exclusive i think it's just a convention exclusive they may have some at gen con as well uh and same with the omnibots pack <clears throat> i have already opened the omnibots pack um now i also did have a friend of mine who was at comic-con pick me up an omnibots pack so uh keep an eye out on my twitter feed it's just pia over at twitter uh same na username is here and uh because we'll be giving some cards away we're gonna have at least one omnibots pack uh, I've got some sets of like all three fire cons with the fire cons flame, some gold foil promos. We'll be giving those away uh, sometime next week, late next week, early early next. Um, so in, in the next couple of weeks, you're going to see some Transformers trading card game giveaways uh, that will include the Omnibots pack and some of the cool gold foil promos and things. So keep an eye on that. So right now, I have already opened these just to check them out when they first got here, but we'll go ahead and look at... Now, this is not a full, like, booster pack. This is a special pack of three characters, and you get uh, Camshaft, Overdrive, and Downshift, the original mail-away Autobots from the, the 1981 or 1981, G1, 1984, 85, a catalog you can mail away for these guys. I remember mailing away for all of them and uh, desperately waiting for them to show up in the mailbox because uh, it was one of those, allow six to eight weeks for delivery, but I did have all three of these as a kid. Um, I, I would love to see updated Omnibots of these three in uh, in the Siege line. You can see they got their weapons deployed here, and they had these on the old toys, the way the little doors opened up and had little missile launchers in them. I miss them. They were a little, they were a little bit more basic than the, the, the other car bots, but they were fun. We had downshift, overdrive, and camshaft. Uh, they all work together. They are also a perfectly coordinated, let's see, 8, 8, 16, and 9. So it, they are all together. They are a 25-point team, and they've got some synergy together. So, uh, yeah, see, so if you start them all off uh, here in... Uh, Vehicle mode and alt mode as they start. On this, each one of them has at the start of your first turn, you may play an armor onto one of your omnibots. At the start of your first turn, you may play a weapon onto one of your omnibots. At the start of your first, first turn, you may play a utility onto one of your omnibots. So you can jack up a single auto omnibot if you have those cards in your hand. You can spread the wealth, but you can power up your omnibots right off the bat. Um, and then, uh, and then these things like each one of one of your omnibots with a weapon attacks, it gets bold. One of your omnibots with an armor defends, it gets tough. Um, with the utility, it gets focus, so they, they all have special abilities that, that allow them to, to work together, which I've said that a, a couple different ways now. But neat set, neat characters. Uh, I'm glad to see the Omnibots getting some love in 2019. On to the Soundwave Blaster Pack, and I have not opened this yet. We're going to open this up. I, I, I haven't played the game. I've been playing the game. Uh, it's enjoyable. I have not played the game enough to really give in-depth analysis. I, I, I generally play what I'm given, or I can find. If somebody's like, here's a cool deck list. I can have the cards. I'll throw it together, and I'll play with it. I'm really good at playing a game as presented to me. I am not super great at building strategies and, and saying, oh, this card, you're looking at a, a pile of cards and saying, these four cards will make a great deck, and uh, this is one of my weaknesses, so we'll go ahead and open up this plastic tray here, bent my fingernail back doing that one, that's going to be fun. So yeah, here, and, and, and it's neat because you get, you get you get some counters and all that as well, but um, you get Blaster and Soundwave, and unlike a lot of starter packs, you get uh, two separate decks. The Bumblebee versus Megatron, I don't know, did it have two separate decks to play with? Oh, that's going to be bad. Um, but so we got Blaster and Soundwave. And then we've got Steelhorn and Ramjaw over here. Ravage and Buzzsaw over here. And don't worry, we got more cassettes sitting here on these decks. And then Frenzy. So each one of them comes with three 
cassettes, it looks like. Uh, Ramhorn Steel Jaw and Eject are what you get for Blaster. Ravage, Frenzy, and Buzzsaw are what you get for Soundwave. And then you get two sealed decks. So, draw this off to the side here real quick. So we'll put Soundwave and his cassettes over here. And the way this works is you start off in alt mode and these guys both start off with their cassettes underneath them. And your starting star limit increases by one for each mini cassette on your starting team. So for every mini cassette you add, you get one extra star to the 25. This game starts with all mini cassettes on, on your te starting team underneath it. And same with Blaster. And then basically as you, as you flip over, when you flip to this mode, you can throw out a mini cassette uh, in bot mode. Oh, okay, when you do, and then you can play the top card of your deck. And then Soundwave has a, a thing where it would flip out the mini cassette. You do look at your opponent's hand and choose a card from it. Your opponent puts that card on top of their deck. So <laughs> you, you, you play it right, you can just keep getting a card, throwing a card back, throwing a card, and throwing a card back. So here is Soundwave's pack. Let's go ahead and find a little... There should be a little textured bit of this. There right, we go. There we go. We found the seam, so that's that's something. You know, usually there's like a little thicker piece of plastic strip that lets you open this a little easier. But oh, there it is. It's hard to spot here in the lights. So here's Soundwave's deck, and some of these are specific to the deck. So Buzzsaw Ravage, Frenzy Attack. I'm pretty sure is not. In, uh, intercept communications, uh, inner groove, recover cassette. You put one of your mini cassettes from the battlefield under it. If you do, repair two damage. Okay, that's cool. So there are some some unique cards, and then you get into blast shield and, and some of the more uh, standard cards from other sets. Those blaster calculated strike, dismantle, smoke cloak, steady shot. And then another Buzzsaw Frenzy Ravage Attack. So, and that's neat too because they're they're kind of mixed in. They're not uh, normally you'll see all the cards together. But, so it looks like you got three of those. So, and this this basically, if you have your mini cassettes out, it gives you extra bonuses. That's kind of cool. And then you get the little pack of counters, cardboard counters. That's Soundwave's deck. Let's see if we can't get. Okay, so it looks like the art on these is well, and the art on these is standard art. I'm pretty sure it's that. I'm pretty sure these decks are going to be the same. It's the character card art that's going to change for the retail release. So you got more recover cassettes here. Let's see if I can. There we go. Instead of the groove, he's got daring counterattack. Choose one of your characters. Interpret the airwaves. Obstructive rhythm. So he doesn't have a specific, it doesn't look like he's got a specific card like the Frenzy Rumble and Rat Bat, but it, he does have some bonuses that for uh, mini cassettes on the on the ground, backup beam escape route. So yeah, Sim similar decks here, and then a little rule book. That's cool. Uh, I, I always like smaller rule books that you can, uh, like quick start rules or whatever that are small enough that you can just throw them in, in a deck so you've always got them with you. Yeah, recover cassettes the same during counterattack. Choose one of your characters that gets plus one attack until each turn for each Autobot mini cassette in your KO area. If you have Blaster on the battlefield, the chosen character also gets Pierce Six until the end of the turn. Dang! That's pretty insane. Like, Pierce Six is you're doing at least six damage when attacking, but not more than your attack total. So I go. Huh. Pierce numbers add together. How are you getting. Do at least six damage when attacking. So that's six damage, but not more than your attack total, which means what if your attack total is only four, but you do at least six damage? I don't know. But yeah. So pretty good deck. Neat, uh, like I said, neat. Uh, we'll go through each one. There's Blaster and Soundwave. And their box art. 
robot modes. Uh, same with the uh, cassettes, Ram Horde and Frenzy, uh, Buzzsaw and Steeljaw, and then Ravage and Eject. They're boxy old G1 robot forms. That's a cool little set, uh, and because it has specific decks, that's one that I'm sure will get played here around the house. It's available uh, at Comic-Con, although by the time this air this, this goes up, and Comic-Con may be over, but I think it's going to be available at Gen Con as well. Um, and again, the, the pack itself uh, will be available with, I'm pretty sure, all the same cards at retail. The only difference will be the character card art will be Matt will match what the rest of uh, the Siege line is looking like and won't be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It won't be the character box art. So yeah, thank you to the Transformers TCG for once again sending a cool package. Um, again, there's Blaster and Soundwave, and uh, we'll have those giveaways on Twitter next week.